Let me take a quick look at what the uh, the Gear VR motion controller looks like. It's a really cool wide trigger right there in the front. Good placement. The, uh, the touchpad is clickable at each quadrant, which is interesting. There's the, uh, a plus minus button. I wonder if that's uh, probably for volume and maybe assignable. Then there's a uh, the back and the home button. That's familiar. I assume when you move your finger on the touchpad, it moves or accepts entry like it would if you swipe the touchpad on the Gear VR itself. Interesting that you can click it though. That must be uh, another assignable thing. There's a little light here at the bottom. You can probably get your drivers just by just by clicking that with your camera. Of course, it knows where it is translation, I believe, and definitely rotation-wise. It knows what it's doing in 3D space. It's pretty cool. There's a lanyard. You have to take the, the back of the battery pack off. It takes two AAAs. It comes with two AAAs, at least the one Oculus sent me, this early version. They aren't released to the to the consumer public for until uh, April 21st. And so there's a little nubby. You slide that down from the top and you can tighten it around your arm. It looks like that when you do it right. So it's tight around your hand and won't fall off. And then easy to grab up again for use. So there it is. It's very cool. It's the perfect size. All right.